Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at control characters in strings. So let's define a string. Um, so I'm going to write here string, I'll call it text. I'm giving it a generic name because I don't really know what it's going to be exactly. But I'll write some text here. Um, what should we write? To be or not to be. That is the question. All right, so we've got two sentences here, and we can output that sysout uh, and output text. So let's run this, and we've got the output as we expect. Now, uh, within strings, um, because they are simply just text, you can use um, more or less any character you want to use, uh, almost any character that you might feel like using is valid in there. It's just ordinary text. But um, we can put control characters in there. Uh, so all of the characters we've got in here are printing characters. Uh, well, in a way, even the spaces. I'm not sure how technically how it's classified. But the point is that they all, um, they all visibly display uh, in, in your output. So the letter B visibly displays as it is. Uh, the space, um, well, that just creates space. So I guess it's a non-printing character. Uh, anyway, let's not worry about that. But um, the rest all, all visibly display. But there are non-printing characters. And these are things that alter the formatting of your string. So they don't actually display themselves. They alter uh, the position of it somehow. And probably the most commonly used one is the new line character. So the, the non-printing characters or control characters start with a backslash. So backslash N means new line. So at the point where I have this, we're going to create a new line. In other words, we're going to see that these two sentences are now on two separate lines. And we don't want that space anymore because um, we don't want to start a new line with a space or whatever. Let's run this. And you can see we've got that on two separate lines now. Another really common character um, that you might want to use is tab. So um, let's, let's indent the first line with a tab. So you can put it anywhere in your string. Uh, but we'll, we'll put it at the beginning here. Let's write slash T. That gives us a tab character. So when we run this program, we can see that the first sentence has been indented by one tab. We'll put another one in because this looks ugly. Let's at least line them up. So directly after the new line, I'm going to write slash T. So we've got a new line here, followed by a tab character. And if we run this, now they're both tabbed in one tab. If you actually, for some reason, want a slash in your um, in your string, uh, because slash normally starts a control character, you can't just write slash in there. It will think I mean backslash o. It will think that must be some weird control character. So we get an error. I don't think backslash o is a control character, or if it is, I haven't used it. But anyway. Um, it's not valid to just put a slash in by itself. If you actually want a slash in there, you have to write two slashes, and then it works. So here we've got to be slash or not to be. Okay, anyway, let's get rid of that. That's, that's not something you usually use because you don't normally need slashes in your string. Okay, now I'm going to give you a little challenge. Let's write this in a comment. So I'm going to put slash star, it's a multi-line comment, and it ends in slash star. And this star is purely decorative, it doesn't have to be there, it just makes it look nicer. So let's imagine that we want to output some text on the console that looks like this. So it's indented by, let's say, a, a tab, and it says select an option, colon. And then indented a little bit more underneath that, we're going to say um, one. Um, uh, what should we say? Uh, add an entry to uh, 
view the database or three exit so look at this bit of text forget about the asterisks they're just there for decoration or because they're part of the comment how would you output this text on the command line so you've got four lines here and three of them uh, the first one is indented uh, one tab and the others let's say they're going to be indented two tabs so they're indented one tab relative to the first line have a go at that yourself it's up to you how you do it whether you store these lines just in one variable which is easiest or you put the numbers in there separately or whatever that's uh, I'll leave that up to you if you want um, a particular particularly challenging task store the numbers separately so one two and three store those in integer type variables and store the rest in strings okay have a go at that task try to write a program that outputs this on the command line and if you can't do it don't despair we'll take a look at it in the next video